Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And I, while that other one was loading, I thought I'd play with Gabriola. That's a little bit too much here. But if you took Gabriola and you use your text tool, and there's other fonts that are doing the way they do this, but you've got just a few uh, ones you can use or that are, that are on this. But you, if you don't like any of those, Let's back up here quite a bit. Let's just, well, let's just type out the, let's retype the word out. And if you don't like any of those, let's change it to Gabriola. If you don't like any of those, there's no reason, trying to make it a little larger. There's no reason you can't play with it a little bit and say, use this one right here and just drag it and bring it in. Now it's really thin, So, and just on the last video I showed how you could make it larger or thicker. But let's say, let's, and we can actually mirror it. Now it is a font, so we're going to convert it to a curve to do anything with it. And I'm not saying you would ever do this on this particular font, because you could play around with it and if you, if we nudge it up just a hair, let's change our nudge factor to 0 0.001. And if we nudge this up just a hair, we're gonna be in the A and the R. And then what you can do, and I like turn it in and do, let's get rid of this, no fill. And I like being a C the weld tool work. So I'm gonna weld it and then you fill this in with the Smart Fill tool and you've got a completely different font. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit and thank you for watching.